Today, I'm gonna to be introducing Smartsheet templates and you can modify them in order to create your own project schedule, reports, and dashboard. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Candace Porter. I have a master's degree in project management from George Washington University. I am a certified project management professional and I'm certified as a Smartsheet user. I have been a huge MS project advocate. I love that tool. However, not everyone has access to MS Project. And so when I'm working with clients, it's a lot easier to use a tool that embraces collaboration. That's one of the reasons that I started exploring Smartsheet. If you don't already have access to Smartsheet, take a look at my other video that gives you options as far as a 30-day free trial. And I cover the pricing in case you appreciate the tool and want to continue using it. Smartsheet has a load of free templates that are out there that can help set you up for success. This is the one that we're going to talk about. And I am putting a link to this actual guide in the comments of this video. So if you'd like to go ahead and open this up and follow along, I would encourage you. You can refer to the template guide to help walk you through how you can set up your project. I want to take the time to just showcase all of the different pieces. If you scroll down, once you open this guide, I'm going to skip through a few things, but right where it says, get the template set, go ahead and click on that link. If you don't have a Smartsheet account already, it will most likely prompt you to set one up. I have a Smartsheet account and I am going to show you what this looks like. Over here, if you click on home, this is where you're gonna find all of the different files within Smartsheet. When you click on the template set and it imports it in, you'll see that it's here at the top. And if you click on template set, you will see that all of these files are now available to you. So this is going to be your project schedule. I'll give you an overview of that shortly. There are also several pre-programmed reports and a dashboard, and these are awesome to help give you a quick glance of what is going on within your project once you have it set up. We have a task roll-up report, project milestones, at-risk task, and project tracking and roll-up. I'll start by clicking on the sheet. And this is what it looks like. If you are familiar with like MS project, you can see that it looks pretty similar. Now this is a template. So you're going to want to modify it to align with your actual project. And once you update this, all of your reports will update accordingly. This is set up by phases. You will see planning, execution, monitoring, and closing. This next column here, we have status. It will show you in progress, on hold, complete, not started. Over here, it will show you who something is assigned to. It'll show you the start date of each of the tasks, the end date of each of the tasks, the percentage complete. I'm going to just drag this over so we can see the other columns here. You will see the duration in days as far as the task and the predecessors. So as a reminder, a predecessor is a task that must be completed before you can move on to another task, the successor task. This builds logic into your schedule, which is a really important piece. If a task starts to slip, so let's say we've discovered that this task, activity one, is actually going to take six days and we increase the duration of it to six days, it should automatically update the rest of the task accordingly based on the logic we built in. So I'm going to enter six here and you will see a lot of the dates below shifted based on changing that. Again, that's one of the most important parts of having a project schedule is making sure that you have your logic built in correctly. If you're not familiar with the different views that are within Smartsheet, you will see grid view, which basically just gives you this view without the Gantt chart. Then if you click on Gantt view, it adds this back. So this is the Gantt chart. This shows December, January, February, March, and then below that, the different weeks within the month. Each of these tasks here align to the line item 
over in the grid view. And so it shows you that project kickoff is going to occur around December 15th that week. From there, we're gonna move into activity one. That's going to be December 22nd to the December 29th weeks. So it's a quick glance at how your project schedule will flow through time. There is also a card view within Smartsheet, which is pretty cool. It will organize all of your tasks into the categories that you have, not started, in progress, complete, canceled, on hold. This is an easy way to see what's in progress and who is working on it. Project kickoff here, Kirk is assigned to it, December 19th to December 25th. You can also drag these around and it will update your project schedule. If I go ahead and drag this to complete, and if I go back to my grid view, project kickoff is now showing as complete. This column here on the left is at risk. You can flag and unflag the different activities that are at risk so that you can track them a bit more closely. Further to the left here, you can add a comment. So if I wanted to add a comment about activity one, at risk, Henry, who is assigned to complete this, is out sick. You can also tag people that have a Smartsheet account and they will get notified if you have added a comment. Another Smartsheet feature that I really appreciate is that you can add files to each of the rows. For example, if there was a statement of work or a contract or a document of any type that was associated with activity one, I could go ahead and click on attach a file to this row and it will allow me this drag and drop file feature. Now let's take a look at the pre-programmed reports that we imported with the template set. In order to go back, I'm gonna click on these three lines and then I'm going to click on the home button. So it's got the little house there. Changes have been made to the information in your smart sheet. I'm going to go ahead and save. And this report here at risk task, it is only going to show the task that I have flagged at risk. You'll see at the very top where I put the comment, it also shows that there's a comment associated with that at risk, Henry is out sick. This makes it really easy to just boil it down to your at risk task and review the comments associated with them. Let's go take a look at another report. I'm gonna go back home and look at the project milestones. As a refresher, a project milestone is an important event that you include in your project schedule with zero duration. I like to add these in for important decision points. If you're gonna be routing something for approval and you can't move forward with the work until you receive that approval, say from the executive leadership team, then I always put this in as zero duration and you can put it in as a predecessor to the work that can come after that. This report only looks at the project milestones. You can quickly see where they fall within your project life cycle. It also shows you the status. Collect deliverables was canceled. Kickoff activity is in progress. Closing activity not started. Kickoff activity not started. Closing activity not started. We're gonna take a look at the next report task rollup. This is a quick and simple report to show you how many tasks are in each category. There are 22 that are not started, four that are in progress, two that are complete, two that are canceled, two that are on hold. And last but not least, let's go back and take a look at the project dashboard. Again, every time I'm going back I'm clicking on these three lines, clicking on the home button, and now I'm within that template set that's showing up over here. Let's look at a dashboard. People are constantly requesting dashboards. I want boiled down information of what's going on within my project. You will see that this is set up to show you a lot of the same information that I just went through individually within the reports. This shows you your task by status, 
the project is 30% complete overall. Here's this project start date. Here's the project end date. The total duration of the project is 41 days. Here are all of my at risk tasks. Here are the project milestones. And then it has the links to the different reports as well. So if you are showing this within a project status update meeting and someone wants to dig into the information a little bit more, you've got all of your documents right here, quick access. You can also add your logo, make it a little bit more professional. It shows you who the project contacts are. You can modify this. You can add additional features. You can remove something if it doesn't make sense for your project. I will cover that in a separate video. Thank you so much for joining me today for this quick overview of Smartsheet. I'm happy to dig in a little bit deeper on each of these things that I showcased today. Let me know what you would like for me to cover. Please comment below. If you enjoyed the content today, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it.